hello everyone hope you all are enjoying my videos in today's video we will be discussing about vlan and i am going to demonstrate it with the help of cisco packet tracer so first of all uh, what is vlan vlan is virtually forming a network from the physically available existing lan network now why we are doing all this because uh, in case of vlan if you want to send your data securely uh, to the group of PCs then in that case we have to form VLAN because in case of normal LAN if you are sending packets they will be delivered to all the PCs connected in a network so to the specific group of PCs if you want to send the data then we have to form VLAN I am going to demonstrate it with the help of Cisco Packet Tracer so let's start so I am going to use one switch and multiple PCs so one thing uh, is uh, to be noted here that uh, all the PCs will be having same network ID only host ID will be different in the IP address field because uh, all these PCs are part of single LAN network that is physical LAN network so I am going to use one switch then multiple PCs I am going to use so for demonstration I am going to use six pieces and I am going to form two VLANs then I am going to configure all these pieces with IP address 192.168.1.1 to the first PC then PC2 192.168.1.2 and PC3 192.168.1.3 PC4 192.168.1.4 PC5 192.168.1.5 and PC6 with IP address 192.168.1.6 I am going to connect them with the help of thread through cable the switch that's all we have formed a LAN of six PCs connected with the help of switch okay and we have configured every PC with the IP address so now if you want to send packets inside this network then I'm going to select one PDU and I'm going to select any uh, one source and destination you can observe here the communication is successful okay now we will see and we will be configuring a vlan on this okay currently all the pcs can communicate with each other there will be a successful communication happen between the all the pcs you can check it with the help of pdu so i am selecting sixth pc want to communicate with first pc so just check in the event window the communication is successful now I want to form a network or demonstration I will be showing it like this PC number 1 PC number 3 PC number 5 they will be forming one single LAN In PC number 2 
PC number four and PC number six, they will be forming another group. Okay. For simplicity, I will be showing this with the help of colors. So all these PCs, they will be forming one LAN. The rest other PCs, they will be forming VLAN 2. Now we are going to configure, we have to configure this on a switch. Because switch is connecting all these PCs. So, currently all six PCs are part of one single physical LAN. Now we are going to form a logical LAN of uh, two logical LANs that is called VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. So that they can form different groups. So PC number 1, 3 and 5, they will be forming VLAN 1 and PC number 2, 4 and 6, they are forming P VLAN 2. So that we have to configure. So just hover on the uh, line connecting switch to the PC and check that particular PC is connected to switch on which line. So PC number 1 is connected on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So click on switch. Then go to configuration. You will find here VLAN database. Okay. So connect, uh, click on VLAN database. Here I am going to number it. So by default, the first VLAN is having number one, just a number two, and name it as VLAN one. Add it. Similarly, Number 3 with VLAN 2. Okay. Number 1 is already present. That is the default. So that's why we have to select VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 numbers. Now, as first PC is connected on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port, I have to just click on it. Now, just check here. There is one tab that is VLAN drop down. So here, PC1 want to be part of VLAN 1. Okay. So just check this default we have to eliminate and click on group 2 VLAN 1. Okay. Similarly, just hover on the line, close this and hover on this line. So it is connected on FH0 slash 3 and the next is FH0 slash 5. Again, go, go to switch 0 slash 3 means third PC. Click on the VLAN number 2 and its name is VLAN 1. Similarly, fast Ethernet 0 slash 5 want to be part of VLAN 1. Okay, that's all. Similarly, now VLAN 2. Now this PC number 2 is connected on fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 port. Similarly, PC number 4, fast Ethernet 0 slash 4. PC number 6, fast Ethernet 0 slash 6. So again, go to the PC. 0 slash 2. Want to be part of second LAN. 0 slash 4. That is fourth PC want to be part of second LAN and PC number six want to be part of second LAN. So that's all. These all configuration settings you have to do in the VLAN. Okay. Then just wait for some time because this will take some time to uh, form these VLANs. Now all PCs are configured and VLABs are also configured. So let's now see how this communication can happen between the PCs in VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. Also across the VLANs if you want to communicate then whether that communication will be successful or it will get failed that we are going to check with the help of simulation. So just turn on simulation window. Okay. And now pick the simple PDU packet. 
and suppose I want to send packet from PC number 1 to PC number 5. Okay, now just check. Now just observe which has not broadcasted the packet that is the ARP packet to all the PCs. It is it has only broadcasted it inside its own LAN that is the first LAN VLAN 1 because PC 1 was a part of VLAN 1 and PC 5 is also part of VLAN 1. So that's why packet will only be delivered in a VLAN 1. They will not be delivered in VLAN 2. Just check reply will also be there in the same VLAN. You just check and just check at the bottom the communication is successful and this is how securely VLAN is uh, helping to transfer packets or data from one PC to another PC connected in the same VLAN. And these packets will not be visible and they will not be delivered to the other VLAN or other PCs. Similarly, suppose you will see, suppose I am selecting one more PDU and now I want to send packet from PC 6 to PC 2. Just check how this packet get travel in the network now just check as pc number 6 and pc number 2 both are part of the vlan 2 so packet will only be broadcasted by switch in a vlan 2 they will not be broadcasted in vlan 1 okay now just check both arp and icmp packets will travel from one PC to another PC through switch but in a same VLAN. Now just check at the bottom the communication is successful. Now third thing we will see across the VLANs if you want to transfer the packets. Just check I am selecting one PDU I want to send it from PC number 3 of VLAN 1 to PC number 4 of VLAN 2. Now we will see what will happen. Now just check PC number 3 is a part of VLAN 1 so it is going to broadcast the packet in VLAN 1 only they will not uh, go to VLAN 2 and we want to transfer packet from one VLAN to another VLAN so this will not happen and now just check at the bottom the packet gets filled okay this STP packet is a packet coming from the outside network okay so it is only meant for the VLAN 2 but VLAN 2 already communication is going on in the switch so it is discarding that. So this is how we can see VLAN works. VLAN is helping to deliver a packet securely in a group of uh, PCs which are part of one single VLAN and they are not allowing outside traffic. Also if one VLAN PC want to send packet to another VLAN PC, the delivery will be failed because across the VLANs communication cannot happen. So previously what we have seen because all these PCs are part of one single LAN, they are having same network ID but as we have configured VLAN, now the all the PCs, 6 PCs are now divided into 2 groups of VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. Though they are having same network ID still the packets will not be delivered from PC number 1, 3 and 5 to PC number 2, 4 and 6 and vice versa. So that's all for today's video. Hope you all have enjoyed this video and uh, the concepts of VLAN are cleared. So if you have enjoyed my video and like this video so please subscribe to my channel for further videos and like my video and share it with your friends thank you